crown and buckle, Supreme NATO unboxing. All right, so um, right now there's a trend for what's called a seatbelt NATO or just even premium NATOs. Worn and Wound has what's called their adapt strap, which is, I believe, uh, 40-some dollars. And the question is, do these premium NATOs deserve or are they worthy of kind of the um, markup in price compared to a standard generic NATO that you can get for, um, you know, nine, ten bucks on eBay or Amazon. Uh, so I was really curious to see if it really had premium kind of materials compared to your generic NATOs. So I ordered one or I actually received it as a present and you can see right there, um, It actually came damaged, so it's fraying right there. Uh, you can also tell that it wasn't on a watch because there's no indentations right here as well as the plastic still being on the buckle. I will say that uh, customer service through Crown & Buckle was uh, really good. Um, they were responsive right away, and so you can see right there where it's fraying. Um, quickly sent me a replacement, which I received today it has a shipping label so i just got to stick this one back in and mail it back to them so let's actually go ahead and do a comparison of this supreme nato with some of these other nato straps so looking at these different nato straps uh this is a light gray um kind of like a sage and then a navy blue hardware. This one's a little bit different with the buckle, but they're all kind of similar. Um, the center one's brushed a lot more. The Supreme NATO is also brushed, but one thing you can notice right away is that the holders are shaped differently. So these are all kind of... Uh, like ovals, whereas this one is more angular. You can see on the edges. So it's not like a regular kind of oval. There's almost like a angled at the corners right there and then also the knit is different so if you look at the uh the actual fabric of it I'm trying to focus on this um it's like a regular nato nylon knit down the center and then on the edges it's like a lighter maybe like a looser knit. Uh, it's really kind of hard to explain. I think I just cut it right now. So it's almost tighter down the center. And then here it's a little bit loose. So you can see it's like a, almost like a beveled edge, which is similar to the adapt strap from Worn and Wound because it has the same kind of look. Whereas with these, it's just a standard knit all the way across. You'll notice also um, with these, just round holes. This one is square holes, and this is round holes. But if you feel down here, um, feels like maybe it's been sealed, uh, probably like laser cut. So I don't think it's gonna fray. And again, just the texture is completely different. So let's actually see what this looks like uh, on wrist. All right, so here it is on a uh, 
Hoyer Carrera Chronograph. Tucks into the keeper. Doesn't add too much uh, bulk and just feels feels really comfortable with the watch. Um, it's like a smoother feeling compared to this NATO. Uh, it's this is a little bit rougher. This is a tighter weave, so it feels smoother. Uh, I'd imagine once it's broken in, it's going to feel even better. So let's go ahead and pop this off. This is a Nomos uh, homage. The reason I picked this up was before I got my tutor, I was debating between a Nomos and uh, the Black Bay, and this was a way to kind of test out the look without having to spend thousands. So this was uh, a little over a hundred. I'll put a link down for it in the description below. But it let me kind of see uh, and kind of do a test run of what the Nomos would be like. And it actually works um, really well with this watch. And I think it's because the angles of the keepers as well as the lugs on this watch. So because it's kind of, um, it's not like a smooth lug, but kind of a sharp corner. And then you also have the corners on the keepers. It actually looks like uh, it fits really well with this watch, which is interesting because the watch itself is more of a, kind of a dress watch, but just looking at it with this strap, it it works really well. So again, just having them kind of side by side, you can really see the tightness of the knit down the center here, as well as the edges, which these straps don't have. Now, is this strap worth four times the amount of your standard NATO. Uh, that's kind of up to you to decide. I will say it's also uh, thicker. So just looking at the sides right here, um, if you prefer kind of a more plush feeling NATO, then yeah, this is definitely something you want to go for. If you kind of like the thinner uh, feel of a NATO, just go with the standard ones on Amazon. Otherwise, uh, I think, you know, it's not a it's not a bad investment for a watch that you really like just because of the quality of the knit uh the difference in texture right here along the edges as well as the unique uh keeper that they're using so yeah this is the uh crown and buckle supreme nato